So this is my presentation for week nine. Um, this week I'm going to talk to you about functions. Um, functions are self-contained chunks of code that perform a specific task. You give a function a name that identifies what it does and this name is used to call the function to perform its task when needed. Um, Swift's function syntax is flexible enough to express anything from a simple C style function with no parameter names to a complex objective C style method with names and argument labels for each parameter. Parameters can provide different values to simplify function calls and can be passed as in out parameters which modify a passed variable once the function has completed its execution. Um, every function in Swift has a type consisting of the function's parameter types and return type. You can use this type like any other type in Swift, which makes it easy to pass functions as parameters to other functions and to return functions from themselves. Um, so when defining and calling functions, when you define a function, you can optionally define one or more named types values that the function takes as input known as parameters. You can also optionally define a type of value that the function will pass back as output when it is done, known as its return type. Um, every function has a function name, which describes the task that the function performs. Um, to use a function, you call that function with its name and pass it input values known as arguments that match the types of the function's parameters. So when looking into my code for my um, quiz game, this function here is called a table view and in brackets table view, because this is what it shows. It takes the UI table view and returns the cell that I had created. You define, by well, this is done by defining um, one input parameter, which is the table view, the UI table view, and then a return cell, which contains a reusable table view cell object for the specified reuse, reuse identifier, which is all in the code with the DQ reusable cell within the table view. Um, moving on, I also looked into function types. Um, every function has a specific function type made of, up of the parameter types and the return type of a function. Uh, this example here on the left defines two simple mathematical functions called add two ints and multiply two ints. The functions can take two integer values and return an integer value, which is the result of performing an appropriate mathematical operation. Um, the brackets here can also be read as a function that has two parameters, both of type integer, and that returns a value of type, value type of integer. This example on the right here is an example of a um, function that doesn't have any parameters. Um, the type of this function is brackets and then void, or what that means is a function that has no parameters and returns void. Um, also looking into functions, I um, found that there's a lot more to dive into in terms of parameters. And I feel that determined on the feedback I get, I could maybe dive into this a bit more in my next presentation. But however, looking into um, functions just from this specific examples that I've shown you today, it just it, um, it really helped me to um, become more familiar with them. And if I wasn't to keep going on with functions in my next um, presentation, I would move on to methods, um, which whilst looking into functions, I found out that is another important piece of Swift language. Um, and there's a lot that the code that you use rely on methods. So that is, well, that is what I will be moving on to next week if I don't stick with functions. So um, thank you for listening to my presentation.